Hello, in this video I'll be sharing with you the best feed formulation model for making your own broiler grower chickens feed. So to start with we are going to look at what grower feed is and to which category of chicks or chickens that you can feed it to. Now the category of chickens that we're talking about here are chicks between two weeks and three weeks old that is chicks from 11 days to 25 days of age and before we kick into the feed formulation proper let me quickly brief you on the needs of chicks about this age that you have to be aware of before you formulate any feed for the chicks you should also understand that this is a critical period for broiler chickens because this is the first stage at which they are going to be subjected to feed change and this transition has to be done smoothly feed change involves changes in feed texture and feed nutrient density also you have to bear in mind that these chickens are still actively growing developing feathers muscles and of course bones that will have to support them and their weight throughout their growth period and transitioning from one feet to the next involves change in feed texture and change in nutrient densities so it becomes very important that you manage these feed transitions carefully so that you don't lose performance also the feed ingredients used in the feed formula that I'm about to share with you have been carefully selected and other substitutes were left out which I'm going to share with you towards the end of this video explaining to you why they were left out and practically what to watch out for if you use a feed formulation that involves any of them also, if you can find any ingredient on my feed formula and you would like to substitute that ingredient with any of those uh, feed ingredients that I left out that I'm going to mention, then I'm going to share with you what you can do in order to make sure that your feed formulation is the best. It is equally very important for you to know the milling particle sizes for grower chicken feed because it affects feed intake and digestion. This is one of the reasons why chickens between 18 days and 21 days have a lot of diarrhea issues and all of this affects your overall output. So I'm going to share the feed particle size for grower chickens feed after the formula itself. Let me also quickly mention that the feed formula I'm about to share with you should be used as a guide to formulate your own feed. Reason being that feed ingredient qualities around the world vary. Some have low qualities, some are of high quality. So you must always source for the best quality to have optimum performance. So having said that, and without any delay, let's look at our feed formula. Using this formula, you can formulate 100 kilograms of very good quality broiler grower chicken feed. Now, if you want to produce more feed, say about 1000 kilos or one ton of feed, all you need to do is multiply all the ingredients by 10. 
I am equally aware that a lot of feed ingredients that are very popular were left out of this formula. For example, ground nuts, fish meal, wheat, wheat bran, and the rest. So, I'm going to start with fish meal. The reason fish meal was out of this formula is because when you produce chicken feed with fish meal, it must never be above 5% of the feed formulation. For example, you cannot use more than 5 kilograms of fish meal in a 100 kilogram feed formulation. This will be a concern if the quality of the chickens matter to the finer consumer because the finer carcass of the chickens are going to have a fishy aroma which is not very convenient for some consumers. Secondly, the only issue with groundnuts is with management. It has a little bit of difficulty when managing the flock at this age. They have a little bit of issues with diarrhea when groundnuts is involved. So that's why it's also not very favorable on my list. For wheat bran and rice bran or wheat as substitutes for corn or carbohydrates, I'd recommend that you can use them as well. But if you have corn or you would like to mix them, let the proportion of corn always be 70% of your carbohydrate unless you are using fully wheat in that case then you can have 70% of your wheat to represent your carbohydrates also for calcium phosphate if you cannot uh, have calcium phosphate you could use bone arch maybe you increase a little bit the dosage or the amount it's going to do the same job it's to build the bones of the chickens so having said that full fat soybean if you cannot uh, have full fat soybean you can use more of soybean meal and in addition of a little bit of vegetable oil which you will have to make some calculations or you could uh, supplement fish meal and remember what I said if you know that the consumer will have problems it must not be more than five percent and finally if you use ground nuts then you have to be very cautious especially when it has to do with diarrhea within this particular age between 18 and 21 you have to be very careful and the feed milling size for grower broiler feed is between 2.5 to 5 millimeters so you're going to increase it gradually as the birds get older don't make the particle sizes dust or bigger than 5 millimeters the birds will not be able to fill their crops normally and to digest your feet finally the feed formulation I just shared with you contains at least 21 percent crude protein and 3000 kilocalories per kilogram of feed metabolizable energy so if you love this video and would like to watch my other feed formulation videos and other broiler management videos or farming videos then you might consider subscribing to my channel share these videos with others who are interested in poultry farming as well and i'll see you in the next one